Reaction to the speech has been predictably partisan. Color 10 Sydney Moran is sharing reaction from newly elected Republican legislators. Well, Steve, after the speech last night, the three newest Republican members of Congress from Missouri, Mark Alford, Eric Burleson, and Eric Schmidt, all shared their concerns. The speech was a disaster, and it's not going to resonate with middle America. Immediately following the State of the Union address, Senator Eric Schmidt and Representative Eric Burleson say the president failed to discuss important issues impacting the American people. Oh, I think he completely missed the mark. Missourians, Americans are suffering. They're paying $10,000 more than they were just two years ago for basic household goods, more at the pump, more at the grocery store, more for everything. And it's a direct result of Biden's policies, cutting off energy uh, production, spending more money than we have. Uh, Americans are feeling it. I was sad that he didn't address any of the issues that we're facing with the with the crisis on the southern border. I don't feel like he addressed any of the issues that we're facing when it came to our weakness to China. While this administration displays weakness, the Republican Party is going to have to stand strong and and um, work despite him, despite his effort. Today, Congressman Mark Alford also spoke about Biden's response to the Chinese spy balloon. He let the Chinese spy balloon float entirely over our nation with impunity, flying over Whiteman Air Force Base, home of the B-2 stealth bomber. The state of our union is strong. The state of our president is weak. We don't need more yelling, Mr. President. We need more healing in America. Democratic Representative Emmanuel Cleaver from Kansas City says the country has made historic progress under the president, but there is still work to do. He posted a Twitter saying, quote, from investing in American workers and bringing good paying jobs back home to lowering costs for families and seniors, I am committed to helping President Biden finish the job. Bailey. All right. Thanks, Sydney.